So let me show you the most expensive binder on YouTube. I don't know too many binders, especially trade binders that are more expensive than this. And yes, everything is for trade. This goes to my vault and actually I have a bunch of binders. And so this is the higher quality binder I like to use. It's called Legion binder. I don't think they make it anymore. Um, it's kind of made from leather, you know, protesting cows and stuff. So when would I bring this binder? I would only bring it when I have a friend and they are going to, we're going to transact in either his very nice home or my very nice home. We are not going to bring this binder to a convention unless we are going to buy list it. And if we were buy listing it. I were contacted the vendors beforehand to get prices and stuff like that. So there would be a deal in place and it would just be like a normal buy list and they would check conditions. If the conditions are not correct, then you know, we'll adjust the price or I won't sell that card where we don't agree on conditions. Uh, these are unlimited. Um, there's a, is a Ruby. I always like to keep a bunch of moxes with me. Uh, that is a beta set of lightning bolts and that is a diamond Valley at the corner. So, uh, that's a Ruby and a jet and no, they're not collector's editions. They are unlimited editions. I don't like, I never take my beta or alpha cards out because I have no intention of ever selling them uh, for the rubies and jets and so on in the land. I just don't have any intention to, of selling them and I don't want to lose them. So those cards stay in the vault all the time. So it stays in my safety deposit box and the chase vault that I do most of my business, uh, even my normal business at. This type of stuff is the type of stuff that if somebody says, Hey man, I want, I got, you know, I want, I got the black Lotus beta. It's in pretty good condition. I want to liquidate it. I need some, I want to get cash. If I'm tight on cash, I bring this binder and I just sell it at a vendor. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of, uh, unlimited demonic tutors. You can tell from the text. I actually love that for about some unlimited cards that you can actually tell from the text. There's a wheel, there's a uh, Mishra's workshop. Um, I mean, basically it's whatever you want. When you're trading at this type of level, you're basically trying to cash out of these cards and they're very easy to cash out actually because they're unlimited. Uh, there's a illusionary mask. There's a bunch, there's a play set of copy artifacts uh, and a play set of unlimited, again, there's brain geysers and the uh, other, the black Lotus. So there you go. There's the black Lotus. That's the big trade up. This type of stuff. I would be willing to trade my alpha beta black Lotuses, my alpha beta mocks. I don't have all of them. I just have a shot fire and a jet. Um, and both of them are graded. I would not trade. I would not even take it out of my safety deposit box. And I'm not allowed to film inside it, you know, anymore. I, I didn't know when that rule was going to happen, but I tried to film and they told me not to. It's just not worth risking anything bad happening to it. Um, this binder, in my opinion, it would be a catastrophe if I lost it, but it wouldn't be as, no, it wouldn't be nearly the catastrophe it would be if um, my safety deposit box. And then you got dual duels. Uh, you got duels, you got wheels. I think you guys will enjoy this pop part. Duels, wheels, duels, 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 duels. Mm, I gotta add two more volcanic items. Duels and uh, more duels, right? So let's go back, Lotus. Um, probably didn't notice there's a black lotus until i got pointed out it's kind of hidden well with the artifacts so yeah that's my binder uh that's my trade binder everything here is for trade or for sale um the other high-end stuff i never see this type of stuff i do see often in fact this is actually my fourth unlimited black lotus uh, it is my currently my only one that's non-graded i have a graded one and the safe that's unlimited. I have a graded one that is beta. It's a really not good grade. I had to fly out to pick that one up because the guy was, you know, he's when you deal with this type of like collection, 
buy it. In my opinion, this is the type of stuff that Alpha Investments, Open Boosters, like you know that there's always a market for it because there's always somebody who has money who wants it. I showed you five different collections today. Two of them were kind of similar. I guess one would be higher price. But um, this is the collection that everyone wants to get to. This is the end point for many collectors. And it's nice to have. Uh, for me, I'm really into uh, beta and alpha. And that, uh, that, type, that type of stuff is hen's teeth. Uh, especially in gradable condition or in graded condition. It's really difficult to have. Um, because of the price point and I don't think that type of stuff will get cheaper because the people who have this type of stuff they are financially well off enough not to have to sell it typically speaking they're not going to be like oh hey I, I, I need money for my emergency fund today they typically are going to have enough money to be able to sustain you know, the crises and the inflation and you know what I mean? Like they, they, they're not hurting for money when other people are hurting for money. Typically what I see is I see a lot of collections of standard and modern cards from newer players. Uh, maybe they're not hurting for money. They just need a little extra money. Maybe they are hurting for money, but this type of collection that you see in front of you, typically it is not going to be from somebody who's going to fire sell it tip uh, i mean that's why rudy is so interesting because he's getting all these deals from like dark tower games and they're selling for pennies a piece i paid full market price for most of what you see here full on market price because it's either you don't pay that price or the guy goes to someone else or the guy throws on ebay like this is the stuff that you throw on ebay it will sell no problem anyway let me know what you guys think of this binder and let me know if you have uh, a black lotus to trade me. Hi guys.